Serial killer and rapist Emj Shankar, known as the dreaded Psycho Shankar, a son of Murumutu, came from the Kani and Patti village of Salem district, Tamil Nadu. In his early days, he worked as a truck driver after studying up to class 12. Shankar knew Tamil, Kannada and Hindi languages. In May 2011, he is survived by his wife and three daughters. He started his career as a truck driver. Shankar started his criminal activities around 2008. His first crime to be reported happened on 3 July 2009, when he attempted to rape and murder 45-year-old P. Shyamala in Parandahalli. By August 2009, he had raped and murdered 12 women, and raped another 6 women. He always carried a black handbag with him. He kept a machete in this bag and killed whoever resisted him. He used to kidnap sex workers near roadside restaurants, on highways, rape them and kill them brutally. He also targeted women in farmhouses, in rural areas. On 23rd August 2009, Ch Shankar raped and murdered a 39-year-old police constable, M. Jimani. Originally stationed at the Kanji Amal Women Police Station, Jimani was on temporary duty at Peru Manawa, during the visit of Deputy Chief Minister M. K. Stalin. Ch. Shankar kidnapped her, and raped her several times before killing her. Empty. The police. To rape and murder. recovered Jimani's body a month later. On 19 September, Ch Shankar and his accomplice P. Mohan Selvam were charged with the murder of 50 year old K. Thanamal Ponaya in Namaklon 10 September 2009. Later, in 2014, the two were acquitted in this case, due to insufficient evidence resulting from lapses in investigation. The Tyropur police launched a manhunt for Ch Shankar and arrested him on 19 October 2009. He was jailed at the Coimbatore Central Prison. By this time, he had been charged with 13 separate counts of rape and murder in Tyrappa, Salem, and Dharmapuri. He revealed, while remanded in custody, that he enjoyed torturing women before he raped and killed them. Ch Shankar escaped to Karnataka, where he raped and murdered six women in Bellary over the next month. He also killed a man and a child in Dharmapuri. In the last week of April 2011, the police traced his mobile phone to Delhi. The police initially believed that he had discarded his mobile phone in Delhi. However, in May 2011, the police traced his mobile calls to Mumbai, but he stopped using his mobile phone. A special team, comprising two sub-inspectors and 15 other police personnel, was assigned to find and arrest him. By May 2011, the police had put up wanted posters seeking information about Ch Shankar, in public places across Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. On the night of 4 May 2011, Ch Shankar reached Telagi village in Karnataka, on a stolen motorcycle. He approached a woman, Chandrakala Hotagi, who was working alone in a field, and asked her for water and food. He then tried to rape her, but Chandrakala raised the alarm. Her husband, Prakash Hotagi, and a friend came to her rescue. Ch Shankar tried to flee, but was caught by Prakash and other villagers. The locals brought him to the Zalaki police station. He was handed over to the Chitradurga police on 5 May 2011. After his 2000 arrest, Ch Shankar was kept at the Parapana Agrahara Central Jail in Bangalore. He was sentenced to 27 years in prison. At the Bangalore jail, he underwent treatment for psychiatric problems. On 31 August 2013, the police took Ch Shankar to the court in Tumka near Bangalore. After returning, 
Dutch, Shankar feigned uneasiness and was admitted to the hospital within the prison premises. He managed to secure a duplicate key and used it at 2 a.m. on 1 September 2013, when the daily change of guards took place. The police suspected that an insider helped him get the duplicate key. He managed to cross the electric fence safely, since it was not functional that night. He reportedly carried with him a bamboo pole balancing on the walls and a bed sheet to serve as a cushion over the glass pieces on the wall top. He was injured during the escape, and drops of blood were found outside the outer wall. He was reportedly wearing a police uniform during his escape. Eleven jail staff, including three wardens, two jailers and six security guards, were suspended following his escape to reprimand them for allowing the escape. The police issued a red alert to all police stations in Karnataka, and urged women to be careful in isolated places. They announced a reward of 500,000 for any information leading to his arrest. Besides this, the police printed 1,000 wanted posters and 75,000 pamphlets with different photographic profiles of Ch Shankar, in five languages, Hindi, Kannada, Marathi, Tamil, and Telugu. Besides Karnataka, these posters and pamphlets were distributed across Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh. Kerala, and Maharashtra. During his escape, Ch Shankar had fractured his leg while jumping from the 30 feet high wall of the prison compound. The informant lured him to a dilapidated building near the Kudu Gate in Bangalore, with the promise of a motorbike to facilitate his escape outside the city. There, the police arrested Ch Shankar, at noon on 6 September 2013. The surgery on his leg having been completed, Shankar was sent to Central Prison, Bangalore to begin serving his sentence. He was kept in a high security cell, with CCTV monitoring and extra lights. The lock of his cell was designed to be out of his reach. It was decided that in case of an illness, he would be treated inside his cell, instead of being taken to a hospital. On 25 February 2018, Shankar unsuccessfully tried to effect another escape from the Bangalore Central Prison. After this plot failed, he was held in solitary confinement. A grisly chapter in South India's crime history came to an end when serial killer and rapist M. Shankar alias Ch Shankar, also known as Psycho Shankar, was found dead with his throat slit in the Bengaluru Central Prison early on Tuesday. On 27 February, he committed suicide by slitting his own throat with a shaving blade, which he had acquired from a barber the day before. The jail staff found him lying in a pool of blood, during their daily rounds, and provided him first aid. He was later moved to Victoria Hospital, where he was declared dead. Kindly don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.